Well, the weather has started to warm up just a little bit here, but we still have some snow up on the mountains. Welcome back to Static Camper Van. I'm Scott, or you can call me Static if it's easier. Uh, I have been on the search the last several weeks to find uh, two things. I've been looking for a quiet place to hang out in Southern California, and also I've been trying to avoid some of the kind of crazy weather we've been having this winter, and I've had kind of limited success with uh, both of those things uh, until I got here to Ojai, Ojai, California. Ojai is a small town that is about 80 miles northwest of Los Angeles, and it's nestled right up against the foothills of the Los Padres National Forest. So I'm on a little walkabout here this morning, just trying to get out and uh, stretch my legs. Uh, and I think what I need now that I've gotten a few blocks under my belt is to go find a cup of coffee. Uh, Ojai has plenty of offerings for uh, coffee around lots of great places, but I have one place in mind, so it's just a couple blocks away from here. seeing some more big clouds hanging up around the mountains. I wonder if we have another storm heading in. I hope not. I'd like a few sunny days if possible. And here's the place I'm looking for. This is Beacon Coffee Roasters. It's a local coffee roaster here to Ventura and Ojai and they do fantastic coffee here so uh, I, I can highly recommend them uh, which is why I'm here this morning. Okay I just got a drip coffee, their coffee of the day. It's pretty good. Um, I was actually here yesterday and I think it was the same coffee. I drink it black because it's just so good it doesn't need anything else. So I ordered it the same today, uh, and normally I try to give a little glimpse inside a cafe just to show you what it looks like, uh, but they don't allow that in there, so I asked. I always ask first, and uh, they don't allow it, so uh, if you want to take a look at what's going on in there, it's a really cute place. Um, you'll have to just come down here to Ojai and visit it yourself. Now, um, walk is good coffee in hand, and next thing is I've got work to do, unfortunately, so let me get back to the van. I mm, think I'm just a couple blocks that way. I gotta say, the scenery here in Ojai is just stunning especially with those snow-capped mountains. Uh, last week, all of these mountains had snow on them, I believe, even straight over there, straight ahead. But I am happy to see the uh, weather changing and it's starting to warm up. Bring on springtime. This is really good coffee, and I am just drinking it down quickly. I uh, wished I had a second cup, but uh, one is good enough today. I actually had a cup this morning when I got up. Uh, and then this is my second cup to reward myself for doing a little walk around like I'm supposed to do every morning. Uh, anyway, I've got work to do. Uh, the worst kind of work to do. I've got to do laundry. I really don't like doing laundry. I put it off for as long as possible, but I think there's a pretty nice laundromat here in town. I walked by it the other day. So um, go over there and suffer through this and get this laundry done. Uh, this is the other reason I bought myself a cup of coffee and splurged here, uh, just to encourage myself to uh, get on with the task at hand. Who likes doing laundry? I don't like doing laundry.
And here we go. I got lucky, I guess, and found a parking spot right in front. And when I walked by here the other day, it seemed like it was a nice clean place and prices were good. So let's go in and just see if that's true. Well, part of the reason I am doing laundry here today is that with the weather warming up, which I'm thankful for, uh, it's given me a little bit of a problem. Uh, I'm wearing my heavier down jacket when I don't really need it today. Um, just cold enough that I decided to put my uh, hat on. Um, plus, I need a haircut, so uh, it makes me not have to look at that mess. But uh, yeah, I would prefer to be wearing this lighter jacket, but this one's dirty and stinky, so um, if it hadn't have been for that, I may have put off doing laundry for a little bit while longer, but um, being that this is a nice laundromat, probably a good time just to go ahead and get this done today. I, I never really know, and when you're traveling around, you end up finding a lot of awful laundromats, so when you find a good one, probably a good time to take advantage of it. Okay, decent laundromat. I always like coin laundries, and I'm not even sure if there's another laundromat here in town. Uh, just because I walked by this the other day, I knew it was here, so I didn't even search for anything else, but happy with this one. Um, now, I've got 20 minutes, and since I have two cups of coffee in me already and no food, I need to make something quick. Uh, so I will make just a quick egg burrito and when I say egg burrito, I mean it. I have one egg left, uh, unfortunately, so it'll be a light breakfast this morning, but food is food, right? One of the reasons I like having eggs around is that uh, they're just quick to make. Um, I, it was just an oversight that I ran out of them, but oh well. Um, one of the things I like to go with eggs uh, are fresh herbs, and I hardly ever buy fresh herbs. And it's just because I keep my fridge uh, really cold, and so I tend to freeze them, and then I get upset that I've wasted money by freezing them. Although parsley usually is pretty hardy, so I should just buy parsley because, you know, parsley is a good underrated herb, I would say. But from time to time, when I want that kind of herby taste, I will use some of this uh, spike. And you can only find this at uh, health food stores and co-ops, but it's uh, salt, sea salt, and a bunch of herbs mixed together. So if I don't have fresh herbs, this is a nice little backup to have. Although it is pretty salty, so if you're, if you're against salt, you may want to stay away from this. They do have uh, a salt-free version of it, but I don't have any problem with sea salt, so uh, this is the one that I buy the original. And, of course, I've got to doctor this up a little bit with some Yellow Bird Serrano hot sauce because this is, of course, my favorite. And then I almost forgot, I added some feta. Uh, got to add that. Uh, this is such a light, wispy breakfast. Um, I need all the calories I can get here. Um, I've been buying feta lately just because it goes so well with eggs, but now I've got feta and I've got no eggs left. Um, definitely need to take care of that here. Okay, I've had a leisurely breakfast and just washing my dishes now. Uh, and just now my timer went off, so got to go in and check the laundry because it should be done. So good timing there. Well, almost. Uh, maybe I should have not had quite a leisurely breakfast. I would have been done and ready to go check the laundry already, but we don't worry about such things, do we? Just take things as they go. Might as well keep the cleaning theme going here and do a little brush up on the floor. It's been so wet and rainy that I've been tracking in all kinds of garbage in here lately, so uh, I definitely need a good sweep. Maybe one of these days I'll buy a vacuum, but um, I don't have one. And it's funny how many people tell me that I need to have a vacuum. I haven't had a vacuum in over seven years now, 
and uh, yeah, I don't think I need one, but I definitely need a little broom. Well, a few weeks ago I made some changes with my flooring here. I put a yoga mat down and I also put some more rugs down over top of it and it's done two things that have been a huge improvement. Uh, one, it's so much easier to sweep up here uh, that I wish I did it sooner, but two, I've noticed that the floor is now much warmer uh, than it uh, was in the past winters. Uh, having that yoga mat as a little bit of insulation is kind of nice. Uh, so. All in all, looking like a really good little project I did there. And I think it's now time to go in and check the laundry. Oh, I probably should have gone in sooner to check those dryers. Uh, these dryers are running hot. Sometimes some laundromats have dryers that are really running on low when they're set to medium. This one feels like it's running on hot when it's set to medium. And uh, I pulled out my toques because these are acrylic. Um, and I don't think you're supposed to put these in the dryer at all, but I found in the past I can just use them in a low dryer. Uh, so hopefully they didn't get too hot. I think they look okay. Um, the other thing was my, my jacket, my lighter jacket that I wanted to switch to. This one is not supposed to get too hot either. So I think it's good, uh, good and dry, but not melted as far as I can tell. Hopefully anyway, I think everything else is okay. Uh, it's one of those little things when you're using a different laundromat that you're not used to. You never really know what you're going to get. And I also pulled out my merino wool sweater. This is a 100% uh, merino wool made by Smart Wool. And I've been wearing this uh, every day. Uh, I haven't worn it the past few days just because uh, it was finally dirty. Uh, nice thing about the merino wool is that it takes a while to get dirty and stinky, so it kind of suits me uh, really well. Um, I really like this. I, I call it a sweater, but it's actually not a sweater. They sell this as a base layer. Uh, it's supposed to be a base layer uh, shirt, um, but I bought one size up, so this is a medium I bought so that I could layer it over a t-shirt just to kind of help keep it cleaner, and it essentially is a sweater for me. Uh, best thing I've bought in quite a while. Uh, so fantastic. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of this heavy thing uh, because it's actually even warmer now, obviously, as it's uh, getting to be a little past noon now. So I uh, don't need the heavy jacket. I can now get back to my preferred uh, layered clothing here. For as much as I dislike doing laundry, it is nice to have it all done and have everything put back in place and know that I don't have to think about it for a few weeks. I've been getting about four weeks between laundry vis visits. Um, I'd like to push that a little bit more, but I've only got an, so much storage space in here. So uh, just working with what I've got. And like I said, now I don't have to think about it for a few weeks. Uh, so, this was the important thing to get done, so let's reward ourselves and get out and into some sunshine because it is a glorious day out today. Uh, there is a park right nearby. Let's go over and check that out. Looks like there's a lot of construction going on downtown here, and I would imagine they're doing it mostly midweek because of just how busy it gets here in town on the weekends. At least that's what it seems to be to me in the short time I've been here. So there are a lot of parks here in Ojai, in and around the town, but uh, today we're heading out to Seoul Park, and it's just outside of the downtown area. Uh, it's kind of a bigger park than the ones right in town, so I thought it would be a nicer one to check out. Uh, one thing I've noticed about a lot of the parks here in Ventura County, this county, uh, is that they charge for parking 
on the weekends and they consider Friday to be a weekend. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday, if you go to a lot of the county parks, they do charge a fee uh, to park there. So fortunately, this is during the week, so we don't have to worry about paying anything to park. And here we are. You see they've got that entry fee here. I'm just going to roll through that stop sign because I don't think it matters. Please don't turn me in. Uh, I think a lot of the parks have guards at the gates when you first come in so that they make sure that they charge you. Uh, this one seems to be on the honor system. Well, I knew this was going to be a big park, but I didn't realize just how big a park this is. This is fantastic. Uh, and it is absolutely beautiful out here, although it's not quite as peaceful as I imagined it would be. Looks like they've had some tree damage back here and they're uh, working on taking some trees down and grinding them up. So a little noisy, but um, with this view, it's sure hard to complain about uh, this spot, picking this spot. This is just incredible. Ojai here is a pretty outdoorsy minded town. You got lots of things to do outside. Uh, in fact, there's a trail that runs uh, across town. Uh, I think it's two miles in total. Uh, yesterday I did uh, a mile of it out, so a mile out, mile back, uh, which was a nice little walk for me yesterday. Um, with that noise going on over there, I kind of thinking maybe I should have done the rest of that trail today, but uh, I'm noticing here there's a little creek and uh, down at the edge of the park here, so yeah, kind of drowns out the creek sounds, kind of drowns out the sounds of the work going on. This is a good place, I think. Um, I wasn't quite sure what was going on over here. Apparently that is a golf course. I see some golfers out there. I don't think I want to get any closer uh, and risk getting beamed by a golf ball. So a little noisier than I expected it to be, but the views sure make up for it. And since I am here, I will uh, just hang out for a bit and not worry about the work going on. Um, there are some restrooms here. I might as well take advantage of that. And I do have a couple little projects I've got to get to, so uh, I'm going to settle in for a bit. Oh, what about lunch? I need to think about lunch. I never remember to eat. It's really kind of a problem. I guess I should do that too. Okay, took advantage of the restrooms. They are pretty okay. You never quite know with a county park. Sometimes they're not so great, but these are pretty decent. Um, by the way, I do have a toilet in my van. A lot of people tell me I don't, but I actually do. I haven't shown it and I don't talk about it all that much because uh, as many people as there are that ask me to talk about the whole toilet situation, there are three or four times as many people that get all riled up about the idea of having a toilet in a van. So I just don't talk about it. Uh, I figure why bring up a sore subject with the majority of people. Um, if you're very nice to me, very nice, I may show my toilet and talk about it in the future, but uh, for right now, that's the reason why I haven't brought up the toilet situation. Um, yes, I've always had a toilet in the van. I don't know why I wouldn't want to have a toilet in the van. This is my house. Uh, most of the time I don't need to use it because I'm, you know, doing things like I am today. You know, this morning I was in uh, a coffee shop, so restrooms there. Uh, I'm in a county park. There's restrooms here. Most of the time I don't need to use my toilet, but I absolutely have one, even though there are a lot of people that tell me I don't. Okay, let's get some lunch started. Enough toilet talk. <laughs> so for lunch today, I'm going to do one of my kind of budget-friendly standby meals. This is sort of like chili. Uh, I call it chili, but it's 
kind of just more uh, a name that I give it just because it's what it closely resembles, even though it's not chili, mind you. Uh, if you're from Texas, you probably won't like this at all. But uh, I've got a couple of beef patties. Um, normally I'd do just one, but I'm feeling a little extra hungry. And this should give me two uh, portions of meals. So a little bit for lunch, a little bit for dinner. So two beef, beef patties. Uh, I've got a can of pinto beans. This could be any kind of beans I have on hand, but this is just what I have at the moment. Um, I've drained these and I've rinsed these. Um, I normally don't rinse them, but the Trader Joe's beans, I seem to like to rinse. Uh, they, they're a little slimy. I don't know. It uh, doesn't make them sound too appetizing, does it? But um, I just like to rinse the Trader Joe's beans. I normally don't with the other type. I just drain them off. Uh, and then I've got a can of fire roasted tomato. Uh, these fire roasted tomato is what makes this taste really good, even though this is a really simple meal. Um, this one actually has some fire roasted garlic, and that's a good plus because I don't have any fresh garlic on hand, and I also don't have uh, any uh, fresh onion or uh, any herbs. I think I was talking about that earlier today. I don't have any herbs on hand, which would be really good too. But the roasted garlic in this uh, is really going to help elevate this a little bit. Um, also, I split off some of this can. I'm just going to use three quarters of a can of this. I'm going to use the other quarter for something else. I just don't want it to be too tomatoey. Uh, and then for the kind of chili flavor, I've got some of this Trader Joe's Wajio salsa. Uh, sometimes I use chili powder, but since I've got this, I'm going to use this. And I have some green chilies that I've been using for my eggs in the morning, but because I don't have any more eggs, I ran out of my last one this morning, I'm just going to throw these into the chili. And these green chilies are going to help with just adding a little more depth of flavor since I don't have a lot of fresh stuff on hand. But remember, this is just about a budget-friendly meal, so I don't concern myself too much with uh, worrying about not having an onion or fresh garlic or anything like that. I'll get those in the future and use them in the future, but right now I'm just looking at something budget friendly. So this is going to work really well and give me a nice meal at a decent price. All right, my lunch is done. Um, I let that cook for just a couple of minutes. Obviously, I just needed to cook the meat through, so it didn't take very long at all. And you can see that this is not traditional chili. I, I get that. So, um, I'm again, I'm just calling this chili because that's the uh, closest thing it resembles. Um, and I have some sourdough that I toasted off just because I had just a couple small pieces left from a loaf I had bought. So that will go nicely, I think, with my chili, quote-unquote chili. So the only trouble I'm going to have right now is not eating this whole thing because I'm pretty hungry, but I want to save a little bit of this for dinner tonight. Let's see if that happens. It's looking like some of these clouds are getting worse like I thought before. I never did check the weather to see if there's a storm rolling in, but uh, all I know is it's still sunny right here at the moment anyway, uh, so I don't have anything to complain about. Boy, it's getting to be quite chilly in the last few minutes. Maybe it's just because I was inside cooking and it was nice and warm in there, but I was out walking and uh, thought, well, that wasn't a good idea to get away from the van without my jacket. So, okay, this is better. Wow. Um, so, now that I'm back, uh, just did a little walk around and uh, checked out the park. Really a nice park. Um, but I do want to take advantage of the fact that there is water available over here. It's also a dumpster and trash cans, which I will use too. But uh, it's the water that I am keenly interested in right now. Uh, I've been buying water from uh, the RO machines, the reverse osmosis machines, and uh, just doesn't work well for me. So um, this water is free as well. So I'm going to go get some of that while I'm here. So this is my backup water jug. This is the jug I use to fill up 
the tank in my van that my sink draws water out of. And then this is also my backup jug of water. So I had a little bit of water in here. I just filled up my tank uh, for my sink. And then now I need to refill this. This is gonna be really easy here today because I've got not only uh, a sink, but I've got a hose bib here. Now there's two things that I carry uh, with me at all times. Um, I have actually two hoses. I have uh, this longer hose here, and then I have another one that is just a short piece of hose. It's about this long. Uh, so if I have a hose bib that's down uh, on a side of a wall like you'd normally see, uh, I will use that shorter hose uh, for that. Uh, but since this one is for some reason up on the countertop, I've got this longer hose where I can leave my water jug down here on the ground and easily fill it up. Uh, if there wasn't one of those available, I carry this little thing. So this is uh, called a water bandit, and it has uh, threads on one side for a hose, uh, and then the other side is just a rubber uh, device that would go around the outside of a faucet. So you can get water out of any type of faucet as long as you can get this stuck over it. And I'll demonstrate that here. Okay, so here's our regular faucet and we could take our water bandit and just stuff it up over the lip of the faucet there. And then because this has threads that would mate up to any regular hose thread, uh, you can just take your little piece of hose uh, like I carry and fill up anything that you needed. Uh, this will work on even little tiny sinks. You just need enough uh, of a lip here on the faucet that you're working with to make this water bandit work. If you don't have a water bandit and you're a nomad, uh, you need to get one of these things because there are times that this has saved my bacon. Uh, I don't mind buying water if I absolutely have to. I would rather not, of course, but sometimes I'm in places that I don't even have an option of buying water, and this thing has given me uh, a way to fill up my water tank. Uh, that's important. I will never be without a water bandit, and that's why I really, really recommend them. But today we don't even need to use our water bandit because we've got a hose bib that we can tap into, and this is even easier. As long as you've got the hose, of course. Now, if you're wondering about using water from just any old water source, maybe there's something in the pipes here that is not very healthy or whatever your concern is, uh, I do have the same concern, to be honest, which is why I run all my water through a Berkey water filter. Uh, that includes even the water that I buy from those reverse osmosis systems. Um, I have a whole reasoning on that, but uh, just to make it simple, uh, I run all of my water through this Berkey system. Now, this is not a real Berkey system. I put this together myself. And in fact, the filters themselves are not real Berkey filters, they're knockoffs, but I've had no issue with them. Uh, they are not made quite as well as the real Berkey filters, but as far as getting good, clean, safe water, I have no issues at all. Uh, these have been working great, and they allow me to be able to draw water from just anywhere I can find it, even some unknown source like right here in this park. Well, it's getting chillier by the minute here. If only there were a way to uh, put that water that we have, our fresh, clean water, to use to warm us up a little bit. Wonder what that could be. Oh yes, how about a cup of coffee? Well, having a good, clean source of water is something I don't like to worry about. I was without this filter for a while. I was using some different filters and they got clogged up when I was in Arizona. Arizona has really uh, heavy uh, salts in their water and the filters were old to begin with. So when I filtered some of that high salt water from Arizona, uh, it just clogged them up immediately. And then I was without a filter for quite some time until I finally bought these uh, filters and had to rebuild my system to fit them. It's, uh, it's something that I never wanted to have happen. I never wanted to be without uh, a water filter. And then when I was uh, without use of this, I really missed it. 
So uh, at the moment, I'm actually thinking of buying some more backup filters just because who knows when that'll happen next. And uh, I think that's the one thing that you kind of gamble a little bit on when you buy the uh, fake filters, you know, the knockoff filters like I have here instead of the real Berkey filters is you just don't know how long they're going to last. Um, real Berkey filters were going to be about $170, and these were less than $45. So I was happy with the gamble, and they've actually been working really well. But after that little mishap I had back in Arizona, I'm just a little nervous going forward. So it's just something that's on my mind always. Well, I had aspirations of just spending a little bit of time here in the park and then going over to the other side of town. Uh, those mountains up behind us there, maybe you'll call them hills? I, uh, I think they're mountains. Um, actually, yeah, that's, uh, that's a national forest. Those are mountains. Um, <laughs> people always jump all over everything I say, so I always second-guess myself as soon as I say it. Anyway, uh, over there is a hiking trail that goes up the hills, up the mountains, and um, gives you kind of a look of the valley down here. And I was thinking that I wanted to go do that today as well, but uh, it's been nice and chill here. Uh, after the fire brigade took off and left, uh, or maybe they got done with doing their uh, work, looks like there's a bunch of trees down all over the park. I wonder if there was some kind of... Um, some kind of disease that went around and got some of these trees or if it had something to do with all the extra water i don't really know maybe maybe it froze maybe with uh, the deep freeze some of these trees have froze there's another one right there that um doesn't look like it's gonna make it they've got it uh, sectioned off it looks like they're heading back there at some point to take that one down kind of a shame but still really pretty here Well, that's interesting. Uh, a local just walked by and told me the story of the trees now. I think he heard me talking and uh, told me what happened to them. Uh, apparently this was a mistake, uh, an error by uh, the management here from the park system. So um, the trees were actually poisoned by accident. Um, so what I saw this morning, I think I got a, on camera a little bit, was uh, Cal Fire is coming in and taking the trees down and teaching new recruits how to uh, fell a tree properly. So at least there's a little bit of good that comes out of this, but um, it's just really a shame, especially when you've got such big, huge trees like this that have obviously been growing here for years uh, that now have to be taken down because they were uh, poisoned, unfortunately. What a sad story. Um, this is still a really beautiful place, though, uh, but it is getting colder by the minute. Um, <laughs> my coffee and my down coat are the only things keeping me warm. Uh, I guess my toque is, too, or hat, uh, if you will. I don't like wearing a hat. How does anybody wear these things? But I'm happy to have it uh, today because uh, it is rather chilly out. Well, I had meant to get some things done here today. I wanted to do a little food prep for one. Uh, I've got some potatoes that I need to cook before they go sprout and I won't be able to eat them. Um, but not doing that was actually a positive because with it getting to be so cold out, I can cook them tonight and essentially have uh, my heater running. So to save gas, a lot of times I'll not run my heater if I've got food prep. So uh, probably a good little mistake I made to do my food prep later today. It's only gonna get colder as the sun goes down and I'm already really cold. But in all honesty, I would rather be here where it's a little chilly than someplace where it's hot. Uh, I'm just not dealing so well with 
hot weather anymore, but if I'm in a cooler environment, I can of course bundle up like I am now and uh, run my heater uh, or at least run my stove and stay warm. So I'm happy to be here in a little nice cool environment. Uh, plus I just can't get over how pretty it is here. I, uh, I'm surprised at how pretty it is, although may have something to do with all the rain we've had this year. I'm imagining it's a little more green now than it has been in the past, uh, although I don't really know that because I don't think I've ever been to Ojai uh, before. Well, I think I'm ready to take off here and head back into town, and maybe we can take a little quick walk around town before it gets too cold and I park for the night. So I grabbed a parking spot here on Montgomery Street, which is just off the what is essentially Main Street here in Ojai. And let's go walk down and uh, take a look at the downtown area. It's a cute little town. As I was saying, Ojai is a cute little town, but it's also a very busy town, even busier on the weekends. There is no shortage of great little restaurants here in the downtown area, as well as coffee shops and just little stores to window shop uh, at just a really cute town here. I need to walk briskly if I'm gonna stay warm. It's really getting chilly now. But let's go over to the park here. Uh, this is Libby Park straight ahead of us. A uh, nice big park too, but it's right in the center of town. A uh, fantastic little spot. And uh, I might as well take advantage of the restrooms while I'm here. Okay, the important matters are now behind us. Let's just take a little walk back here behind the park uh, because there's a very cool little footpath that runs uh, the length of the town here. I think I mentioned it earlier. Uh, it's about two miles long and yesterday I did just half of it. Uh, went from this spot out to the edge of town and then back here. Uh, it's a nice little walk and it's uh, my kind of walk. Uh, nice and gentle and easy and flat. <laughs> Call me lazy if you will. Uh, I call myself lazy, so I, I don't really care. Well, this is it. This is the little footpath that runs the length of the city. Uh, it's a nice little thing. I wish more cities did this because uh, it just makes it nice and safe uh, if you want to walk or bike uh, without having to deal with traffic. Uh, there are some spots where you do have to cross a street, so uh, it's not... Uh, completely out of traffic, but uh, this is uh, much better than just walking along on a city street, if you ask me. Well, I messed up. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, I should have stayed over by the clock tower because it is uh, chiming off right now. Maybe you can hear it a little bit. I'll stop talking. Just starting to sprinkle now, so it's probably be best heading back to my van and finding a parking spot for the night. And uh, that's rather appealing to me. I'm actually fairly warm. Uh, my nose is a little cold and my hands are a little cold. Uh, I did dig out my gloves the other day and then I did not get them out and use them. So uh, it's all, all my fault that my hands are cold. Uh, Boo-hoo. 
Anyway, let's get back to the van before it starts to rain. Just a bit of a sprinkle at the moment. Sane living? Obviously not a place I could ever live. There's the TARDIS. Well, I found a parking spot on the same block as I've parked the last couple of nights. Um, only thing is, I'm parked across the street from where I was the last two nights, which means I'm right in front of somebody's house. I'm like right in front of their front door. Uh, I think it's gonna be okay though, because I've been here for a couple of nights and I haven't seen anybody park here before, but it's open parking, so uh, I think I'll be fine. Uh, they won't mind. I'm just going to say they won't mind. Um, now, I better get my prep going so I can warm up the space before it gets cold in here. It's actually nice and comfortable back here. I don't know how. Oh, maybe from when I made the coffee. Yeah, that was it. Anyway, okay, so let me get my prep going. I thought I had more potatoes than this, but uh, I guess some is better than none, and I am happy that they're not sprouted, probably because it's been so cool lately. They've uh, basically been in cold storage. So let me chop these up a little bit and get them parboiled. Okay, I've got these potatoes all cooked off. I think they're kind of par-cooked. They're mostly cooked through, and then... Uh, that way it makes them easy for me to add them to other things. And I think what I'm going to do is just add a few of these to my chili because I don't have a whole lot of chili. This is going to be kind of a small dinner for me. So to bulk out a little bit of this, I'll use some of the potatoes in the chili as I reheat the chili. Um, that'll be a little bit of a help. Maybe, maybe a quesadilla would be good too. Yeah, that's it. I'll make a quesadilla. Uh, that'll help bulk out my dinner as well. So I'm going to need more to eat. I have a serious question here. If you're somebody that wears hats, how do you stand to wear a hat all day long? I am going crazy. Uh, this is not comfortable. I don't know how anybody finds wearing a hat to be comfortable. I mean, yes, my ears are warm. I like that. But... Uh, I just, I feel itchy, my scalp feels weird, um, yeah, I'd take the hat off, of course, but, uh, I've got hat head, uh, wearing the hat all day, so it's gonna stay on for a bit longer, but yeah, really, how do you wear a hat all day? I, I just don't get it. Okay, dinner time, I've got, uh, two nice greasy quesadillas here, and yes, I use cheddar cheese, um, uh, I'm okay with it, uh, and my chili that has the potato in it and then I added some uh, sour cream forgot I had some sour cream in the fridge so that'll make this a little extra good and also add some extra calories in here which is what I need with this kind of small meal here well that worked out pretty good uh, I went from thinking I wasn't gonna have enough to eat tonight for dinner to feeling stuffed now so plenty uh, of food, I, I guess, uh, in the end. So that's all good. And uh, not a bad day today. A little chilly at times, but a pretty good day here. And I have uh, a lot of admiration for Ojai. Uh, if you are passing through this area, uh, Ojai is a nice place to spend some time. Uh, I've enjoyed spending some time here. So uh, with that, I think I'm going to... Uh, turn in, probably watch a little bit of YouTube, and then uh, get some sleep because I'm tired. Maybe, maybe it's that full belly of mine that's making me extra tired, but I'm tired. So uh, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it.